Yeah, howdy again everybody and welcome to the Nintendo September Direct Reaction. Have to say I'm really excited for this one. I have my Yorkshire tea ready. And uh, good night sleep behind me. Because uh, again this one came late at night so I thought I'd wait, wait until the morning. So I can be fresh, happy, <laughs> and enjoy this a little bit more. But yeah, I'm actually really hyped for this one because at the moment, or before they announced this, I wasn't really waiting for a direct, or I didn't need a direct. So if I get a single thing good out of this for me, it's been a good direct for me. And this is like... Uh, early Christmas present <laughs> but yeah uh, maybe I should do a little recap in the beginning what I expect to be here and what I hope to be here yes <laughs> so uh, based on what they have announced I'm just going to focus on uh, Nintendo first party games or exclusives so what they have announced before uh, is the Pokemon games Pokemon Arceus and Brilliant Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl no probably fucked it up but yeah <laughs> Those. Then we had Advanced Wars announced in E3 with the art style. I haven't played the original games, but looking at them, uh, the art style doesn't really fit the tone. But I might be completely wrong. And then there is uh, Splatoon 3, which they could show a lot, or they could not show it at all. So yeah, at least I'm waiting for uh, not a teaser trailer. And uh, then there was the Mario Party collection, can't really remember the name. But I think we have seen quite a lot about it. So I'm just waiting for a short trailer, maybe in the montage in the end. And then there's the rumor uh, Nintendo Switch Online. Was it Game Boy games and Nintendo 64 games? And I think those rumors were different from e each other. There was uh, first the rumor that there would be Game Boy games, but not Game Boy Advanced, if I remember right. And then there was this rumor that there was a controller, or not rumor, there was a patent or something, no. There was some document that should be going live uh, tomorrow, and it was a new controller for, for the Switch. So it might be some clunky Game Boy wannabe controller, or then it could be Nintendo 64 controller, who knows. And, of course, there should be the final Smash character reveal. Not sure about that, because they could easily save it for Game of Wars. But if it's here, would I wish, or who would I wish it to be? Honestly, I have gotten quite a few characters that I wanted so far. So, I'm just happy, happy for it to be basically anybody. If I could wish, maybe a character from Astral Chain, but it's definitely not going to be that. And yeah. I'm more happy if your wishes come through. <laughs> and yeah, then things that I wish to be there, and there's some rumors back in them, is uh, some sort of free master of uh, an older Fire Emblem game. 
there was some rumors about that. And then there was the Xenoblade 3 rumor. I think that's more than likely to be in here. It's been so long since the Xenoblade 2 and the DLC that they had in the end. So I expect to see that here. Then there is the Project Triangle Strategy game, or whatever it was called. That is the new 2D HD game. Did I get it right? Hopefully. That I also expect to be here. But I, if I remember correctly, it was coming at the beginning of 2022. So it's more than likely to be here. Uh, then there is, was the rumor about Donkey Kong, and if I'm not wrong, this is also an anniversary year for Donkey Kong, so it would fit nicely, nicely there. Then there has been rumors about Kirby 3D game, and what was the last one? Oh yeah. Mario Kart 9 has been rumored for long, but I think what people are saving, saying that could be that Nintendo is just saving it for uh, the next Switch 2 or whatever that will be. And then we were, oh, and then there was the Zelda Anniversary Collection. There was rumors about it for a collection for all their games, but in the E3. Direct, they said they had nothing else planned, so people are saying that they didn't want to overshadow um, Skyward Charge release, so that's why they didn't tell about those games. But would be a weird thing to say that you had nothing else planned and then show up with the collection later. So who knows? That is something that I wished would be true because I haven't played the earlier Zelda's. So I would be really happy to play them through. And then, I think the final bar, would I wish to be here, that is more than likely not to be here. Um, what I have written down here, new 3D Mario game. I wish... <laughs> I think uh, it's over 3 years, over 4 years from the time that Mario Odyssey released, so it could be here, but also they had the uh, Bowser Fury and was it 3D Land, or whatever the game was called, back together. So I feel like that was something, I don't know if it was developed by the same team as the Odyssey, but I, but I would feel that was something that would slow them down. And that's maybe something they would say for E3. So yeah. Then, other thing that I have written down here is... ARMS 2. Definitely has been four years since the first one released. I think it sold quite well. And I think it was a really fun game. It just lacked single player content. So... I'm really wishing there would be a game focused on more on single player, or not necessarily focused on single player, but would have more single player content. And then my uh, final wish, that is, I think this one could be actually quite likely, and that is Dragon Quest something Dragon Quest related. Definitely not going to see anything about the mainline game, but Dragon Quest Builders 3. Fingers crossed. I think the second one is one of my favorite games of all time, so I would be really happy if they announced the third one. But I'm not even sure if they are making making a third one. And then there is the Dragon Quest Heroes games, uh, se the first and second one that are only released in Japan. So I would gladly take a a part of those games to English audience. And then there is that 
was it Dragon Quest X? That was the MMO game. That's only also in Japan. So if they release that in West, I would my head would blow up. <laughs> yeah, I feel like there has been enough rambling around, so should be just watch it. I feel like this is a good turn. Usually, uh, uh, there are so many butter people that didn't get that one one thing that they wanted. So I think this is a really really good uh, like to this uh, like ratio. But what do you call it? So, based on that, this would be really hyped. So, yeah, let's give it a call. Also, I should check on the Audi. It's fine. No idea what this is. And I'm already intrigued. Monster Hunter? Yes. Is that Ridley? No. <laughs> that would be something. They're opening for me, but I think there's many people who have enjoyed the game. Howdy there. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the first trailer for Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the massive expansion for Monster Hunter Rise. Massive expansion. Our friends at Capcom are working on many new elements that will enhance the experience for players of Monster Hunter. And I have to say that looked really cool, including new stories, locales, if that's uh, explorable. Area. And although not touched on in the trailer, new hunting actions and quest rank. Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is scheduled to release as paid DLC in summer. Maybe that's finally the time I try to Please stay out. tuned for more information in the future. All right, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Party during the day or at night. Mario Party. It's almost time to yes. party in the Mario Party Superstars game. Along with Spaceland and Peach's birthday cake, several other boards make their return. Take a stroll around Woody Woods, but watch out for those Monty Moles. They'll change the board's direction when you least expect it. Travel between Damn, two islands and Yoshi's tropical moves. islands. <laughs> Toadette's got the star, but she might swap places with Bowser at the last second. Party day Why and I feel night I have played in Horrorland. That, map that King Boo statue is harmless during the day, but at night, it'll swipe stars from unsuspecting players. Need a break from boards? Head to Mount Minigames and play in minigame-only courses. Compete against players worldwide for the longest win streak in survival. Or work together in the cooperative multiplayer tag match. Mount Minigames will have seven courses available. All boards and minigames support online play. So invite family, friends, and frenemies. And get yeah, I have nothing, party of nothing much. Much to say about this. Mario Party Superstars launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 29th. I think that has been said already. Available now on Nintendo eShop. Yeah, probably going to pick that up. A new RPG is in the card. That's the Marvel game, right? Welcome to Voice of Cards. No. Hello there. What is this? Oh, this looks interesting. 
just based on the art style alone. At the Queen's behest, you'll set off on a fantastical journey to slay a fearsome dragon for honor and fortune. Everything in this realm is represented as cards, from the protagonists to shops, towns, hmm. and environments. In this fresh take, I really have to say that <laughs> gameplay really doesn't off, match up with what I was expecting. Battles, where your skills and a little bit of luck will determine the victor. A spellbinding experience from the creative minds of Yoko Taro and Yosuke Saito is about to unfold. No idea who those were. Voice of Cards. The Isle Dragon Roars launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Could be good. Pre-orders and a free demo will be available today on Nintendo eShop. Maybe I check out the demo. And see for myself. Become a hero or an absolute disaster of a human being. You awaken in a hotel the game that, room in uh, the city of Revachal. Devoid quite many of our awards in Game Awards. Soon, you learn that you're a detective and get entangled in a strange murder case in the groundbreaking role-playing adventure Disco Elysium, The Final Cut. As you interrogate people and uncover clues, internal dialogues will begin. To investigate, you'll need the help of the 24 skills living within you. I think I'll blast this one and just, just Your hope it comes to Game Pass. Your choices will change depending on how you develop these skills directly impacting how the story progresses. I feel like that's a game that I would enjoy. Well, what sort of detective will you become? I don't know, was it 40, Elysium, 40 euros at the moment? That is launches digitally a bit on too Nintendo much for Switch myself, even though the game is physical really version of the game will launch early 2022. Pre-orders for the digital version begin today on Nintendo eShop. Uncover more stories in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. Is this spoilers for me? I haven't played through the game yet. More than halfway through one. Should I look away? <laughs> and about that courageous friend of yours, it seems I owe him as well. Yeah. The king of Hyrule must not fall! You know, you're pretty good for a little kid. We'd better partner up on this, don't you think? They won't harm Do you know who was the best character in, in this game and Breath of the Wild? It's Koga. <laughs> Behold our power! Take that! Clicks! Time for the show! Oh! Oh yeah! Wait, are those characters? Do they play combined? Ready, set, Chocobo! Final Fantasy card game. Start your engines and get set for a new racing experience. Chocobo Races familiar Grumpy. Final Fantasy characters <laughs> like Chocobo and Gilgamesh to be the first across the finish line. Edge out the competition by using Drift Boost to cut corners. Magical stones called magicites are contained inside items. Collect these throughout courses to cast magic like fire and arrow to blast away opponents. Acquire magicites of the same element to cast even more powerful spells. Probably <laughs> funding for Final Fantasy Use it at funds, the right but time to turn the tables. I don't see nothing here that separates it from Engine customization option Mario will be available, or, as well as local and uh, online multiplayer. The Crash Bandicoot card game, whatever that was called. Up to there's so many card games these days, there's that Nickelodeon, the All-Stars or whatever that was. Chocobo GP then there's that, was it Halo at the end? <laughs> what did you think? 
before we show you our next video. We have some news about the last fighter for the Super Smash Brothers in Game Ultimate Awards. Game. Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. That soon. He'll also show you how to use this fighter, so please look forward to it. Thank you, Sakurai. It's been I would about never three figure, years since the figure game it out released. myself. This will be the last presentation about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I hope you'll check it out. Next, please take a look at this. Mm. What is this? Not Splatoon, not... Uh, what was the game called? The Atlas game that's coming December, not the... And that's all we see. <laughs> Wait, is this the 3D Donkey Kong game? 3D Kirby game? Nice. Forgotten Land. Oh, this looks cool. And like, completely different from the 3D Mario games. I feel like this is like, is this an open world? Please have a demo available today or something, or at least uh, release soon this Christmas. That looks like uh, the gorilla from Flash. I can't really remember his name, but <laughs> that looked really cool. Spring 22. Oh. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In this new game, you can freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. We hope Excuse you'll look forward me. to Kirby's new adventure. Horizon Zero Dawn Kirby crossover. <laughs> Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. Fire Emblem? No. Just the music. <laughs> Sorry, I have to knees. Animal Crossing Direct, airing in October. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. That was a bit like Luster, but... New free content will arrive in November. There should be a lot of content In preparation there. for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. There Please better be, be a lot of content of this to, it to it to have uh, its own direct. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. 
Four! More free content is coming to the Mario Golf Super Rush game. I haven't still picked this one up. Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable character. Nice shot. Dish out tricky shots and dashes to mess with the competition. Ninji will also be playable. Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to outpace opponents. Two courses are also being. Where is Ninji from? Well, of course, from These Mario, but. Will come swinging in as a free software I feel like I haven't seen today. him. Or it, or uh, anywhere. What's this? An invitation. You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. Spend time with Disney friends. That was a good Smash Brothers bait. <laughs> costumes and furniture, and explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. A beloved Star Wars game is coming to Nintendo Switch. Blast off to captivating planets and join forces with Jedi, droids, and Knights outcasts of the Old in this blend of action, role-playing, and adventure. Will you use the Force for good? Or will you be lured to the dark side? Wait, isn't this the... Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Launching on Nintendo Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Isn't this the really hype game? Or really There's good game? There's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. I have to check that out. Was that the one that this BioWare made? This is the city. Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2, Stay Human, you'll need to master both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal oh, open-world action RPG. Explore alone, or without I was looking at this, online co -op at least on my screen, it looks... Or it doesn't game. look that great. Then plunder the and, I, of the infected at night. and I Your thought it was the, the story, original game, and then I saw the two, and I was like, are they no porting that? But yeah, it's a cloud version. <laughs> one thing you must always remember the video Stay quality human. is just a bit bad while you're at it take the prequel on the go in dying light platinum edition scavenge for supplies craft weapons and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world dying light 2 stay human cloud version launches on nintendo switch february 4th 2022 a free demo will also launch the same day on nintendo eShop. dying light platinum edition comes to Nintendo Switch October 19th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I've been thinking about I'm definitely going to play the second Utility, one. Morality, this or is the liberty. Triangle Strategy. Wow. In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. But yeah, I've been thinking about picking up the first Triangle but I story most likely will do it on PC. On the decisions you make. In the end, where will your conviction guide you? You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received demo, lots of right? feedback. These include adjustments to the difficulty, improvements to on-screen visuals, camera angle controls, the ability to review previous dialogue, and streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid! Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. There's so many games Pre releasing on March. Today on Nintendo eShop. But yeah, I also played the demo. Oh, I played the demo and it was quite good. I feel like I have seen so much about this game already, so please don't show more. Don't let your guard down. 
feel like I have seen this already. So I don't mind, but... Just give the game, <laughs> game to me already. Samus Aran, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a oh, mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. That's trial that was enough ZDR. already. Her objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X-Pass still me. exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments, each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Be sure to view the I'll other Metroid through. Dread Reports there as well. You want checking. to prepare <laughs> yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. Metroid Dread launches on Nintendo Switch October 8th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. How was that? Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. Many people have this been using been the Nintendo Switch Online for. since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. As a part of this new plan's content, you'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I didn't know Ocarina of Time uh, was in Nintendo 64. Gaming experiences, as well Holy as shit, there's so many games that I've been wanting to play. With Nintendo Switch, up to four people can play select Nintendo 64 games locally or online. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games, Sega! you can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. So, no Game Boy. This means you'll be able to play these classic games whenever and wherever you'd like. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch Online Sorry if I'm going to post this when they show all of the games well that are the there. to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. This is Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Oh. I want it now. <laughs> of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. For now, however, Show the we'd games. like to announce the games that will be available when it launches. You'll be able to... Star Fox 64, Mario Kart 64. This one I have on my... Uh, the collection that came last year, Ocarina of Time. Yes. I don't know why Why did I think it was... Uh, or it released on Game Boy. This one I don't really care. Neither, neither these two, I think. I don't know what that is. And Sin and Punishment. That is a game that I have heard a lot of. Uh, that is a game that I have heard a lot about. A lot of good, so definitely want to check that one out. Game shown here. As well as the but I have today. This was a a lot smaller. 
collection of games than what I expected. Streets of Rage, Shinobi, Shining Force, and this is Star. I think I know every single one of them, but I have no idea. Like, based on the name, but I have no idea. Like, Shinobi, is that a 2D platformer or what? These Genesis games. Excited to we'll check them out. We'll also continue adding more Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and F-Zero X, as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis games going forward. Wait, 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 wait. don't go so fast. Oh, no snap. F-Zero X. Baby Mario. Banjo. So many games that I want to play. Furthermore, we've prepared Nintendo 64 and Genesis controllers to ensure the games can be played with the same style controls from their original releases. Both can be used wirelessly. These controllers will be available for purchase by any Nintendo Switch online member. Should I get the 64 controller? We Just to experience that thing. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online plus Expansion Pack. Let's see a few more Nintendo Switch headlines. That was a hype announcement. There's plenty to play in these collections. Cyberpunk meets fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. I think I have heard Immersive about branching this narratives. and seen something about Skill -based this, but character growth. And gripping turn -based don't know if these are any good. In Shadowrun Trilogy, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula continues. Castlevania Advance Collection brings together four classic Castlevania games with deathly beautiful graphics and hauntingly epic music. The rewind, quick save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up your fight against evil. All regional versions of each game, as well as a yeah, game. I haven't played these games before, before so I don't have much to say about them. But... Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch. I think later this is today. a great thing for the fans. An almighty classic returns. Fire Emblem? I think it is. No. The classic Super NES game Act Razor returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Light and Almighty God, only you can save mankind from the forces of Tanzra, the Lord of Dark. You'll wage war in two phases. The map First, in the beginning looked like the, the side -scrolling action classic Fire Emblem game that they the released last year. Master swordsmanship and magic or the local, local the la localization. Then cultivate I'm just the lands you've that liberated localization in the creation phase of that game. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you an edge in both phases. Alternate between the original and rearranged versions of the beloved soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. I have heard Hatch about, Razor or I know this game by name, but... Nintendo Switch later today. Today? No, oh, shut up. A new chapter is about to unfold. Didn't this release already? Oh, I thought this was Delta Room. It was. <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, there were so many games at that one moment.
apparently this game should be pretty good. Surviving Aftermath. Never heard of this one. This one I'm still a bit mixed about. I think I will wait for the reviews. If it's good then I'm gonna pick it up. Shadow drop. What was this room factory five? How's everything? There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. Koizumi san. Oh, Miyamoto san. 12 minutes. What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. What do you have in store for us? It's very really good. I've been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination oh. and its CEO and producer, Chris Melodandri san who are known no game. for movies like Despicable Me and Sing in making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big screen. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta-da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members oh, who I was will be like, voicing a Mario game? and his friends <laughs> in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Wait, Chris what? Pratt. How is that going He's to work? so cool. Mario he is cool. a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor-Joy. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. I think that is a good casting. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. And I think that's a good casting. I'm excited too. for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. But Chris Pratt, what the hell? <laughs> Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. Me too. <laughs> the comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to but great comedic moments. Why is this here? It's taking my precious direct this is time. A Mario movie, <laughs> Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. And of course, Charles Martinet who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved. Yeah, how, and how is he not the Mario cameos in voice the actor? We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This uh -huh. is a very collaborative project between I'm Illumination modding. and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. Next, we'd like to show you I don't know what that look was that he gave for Miyamoto, but... <laughs> Okay, nice. I would be more excited to see something single single player for this one. I don't know why that did look like uh, the thing was naked <laughs> under that paint. Hello there.
So much going on now. But it looks like those are like smaller levels. At least what the what kind of uh, I can gather. Looks really good. Release date. Nope. What the hell is that? How did there? Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift, with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. In the latter Why does that thing footage, look like it's we were able to observe <laughs> activities from story mode That's bothering the single-player campaign. Return of the Mammalians. Meaning, the reappearance of mammals appears to be the theme of story mode this time around. Should I know what, what could this possibly mean in a world where mam all mammals, except for two cats, mammals have they are. It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. It appears so, yes. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Please look forward to more. Splatoon 3. That was actually well made 3. To come. <laughs> See you next time. So, what did you think? Splatoon 3 taking place in a new world is scheduled oh, there's to only one more thing left. A montage and one more thing. Please look forward to future updates. Or I think we had the montage already. Right? Okay, this is the last trailer we have to show you today. Please take a look. Is this the Xenoblade? Maybe. No. Hello. Bayonetta. 101. Should I know this one? This has to be Bayonetta. <laughs> Haven't played the previous game, so I'm not going to get the obvious clues here. It looks really good. Although this is a cinematic. I think. Wait, Astral Chain. No. Oh. That dog must be in both games. <laughs> cool. 
Whoa. It That's a different look. But I'm ready to give you everything you want. Wait, is this 60 frames per second? No, it can't be. Looks smooth. Still happening in one air, uh, single area. Nice. Released it. <laughs> I believe what I should have known was the was latest trailer for Bayonetta 3. We announced this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. This game will launch <laughs> next year. Yeah, I have to say we have we have we had a, a good patience so far. <laughs> That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you. I feel like that was a really solid tier. Is everything working here? Yes. Okay, quick recap. We have a Monster Hunter uh, expansion. Then we have the Mario Party trailer, then this card game that in the beginning looked really good, but the actual gameplay. The Queen's behest. You'll set I don't know what, a the, what to think about this. Uh, what else we have? Disco Elysium. Hyrule Warriors DLC. I'm assuming since I haven't played through this game uh, I'm halfway through I'm assuming these are new cutscenes so looks like a big big upgrade or DLC then we had to <laughs> joke up over curtain game and there were plenty of uh, announcements for announcements like they announced the Smash character announcement when it's going up, and then the um, uh, Animal Crossing Direct. But I think this was the best thing announced here. This looks so good. And like, the world. It just looks like I want to go there and explore it. Like everything here looks great, the lighting. And the setting. And you can just freely explore here, I assume. Like, uh, when there were rumors about Kirby having 3D game and Donkey Kong. I was a bit skeptical because I've, I thought there would be too similar to Mario, but this is like 
completely different thing. Like, even though these levels might play similar to Mario, I feel like the uh, Mario Odyssey uh, levels were like, or the, what would you say, smaller open world, smaller hub worlds, no hub worlds, smaller worlds that they had, they were like levels. But here this place looks like an explorable world. If you know what I mean. Just looks so good. But I Based on this, I'm not that sure that it is an open world. That's the only thing here. I think it might be just bigger levels. But either way, looks really good. Definitely going to pick that one up. Yeah, then we had the Animal Crossing announcements, and then we had Mario Golf. Then this game, was it Disney World or, Disney? or whatever it was? They didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> Apparently this is the second one. Hopefully that was a hype announcement. Sure. Will you use the force for good, or will you be lured to the dark side? Your choices determine the galaxy's fate in Star Wars what? Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic. Is that the Bioware game? Is this the one they are remaking at the moment? So okay, this is the Bioware game, if I'm correct. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. The Old Republic. And then Knights of the Old Republic. First and the third video game installments were developed by BioWare, while the second one was by Obsidian Entertainment. I'm so confused, what was the game they were remaking? It's the Knights of the Old Republic. So if this is the game, as it seems at the moment, based on what I gather here, sorry if I'm a bit new, but <laughs> I don't know much about this, uh, but this is the game that they are uh, developing developing the remake or remaster. So I think it's really it's really nice that they are releasing the original game on Switch. So it doesn't Launching feel like Nintendo it's Switch November 11th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Out. This is with Jedi. Knights of the Old Republic. 
think it is then. I think that's for me, because that's, that's a game that I have been wanting to play. This is a hub announcement. Okay, let's go quickly through these. Uh, the Dying Light. In the cloud version of Dying Light 2, stay human. I don't know why this trailer you looks so <laughs> bad. And tactical combat to survive I was looking at this and open world is this running on the Switch? <laughs> Or with up to three other players but yeah, the first game is something that I've been wondering about, wondering around if I should. Then plunder the okay, let's do so. The first game has been something that I uh, have been wondering around if I should try before the second one comes out. But if I do, I think I will do it on PC. Then we have Triangle Strategy. Basically, just an update on what they improved nothing much new here so yeah I was actually waiting to see a second demo of this because I think they did the same with uh, Octopath Traveler that they first released the demo go, uh, take the or took the feedback from that and then released a bigger demo before the release But I feel like here this is releasing, was it in March? So it's still ways back. So they probably will have another demo closer to that release. I think so. Then we have this trailer for Metroid Dread. That I feel like it should have ended here because we have seen so much about it so far. But I think. Uh, these bits from this uh, next trailer I think we have seen these from the previous trailers that I have put together so there was not much new here which I think was good I don't want to be spoiled uh, even more that took a long bit of the direct and then Okay, the Kirby, Kirby game was the best game announcement, but this was like the best announcement overall. I don't know why I'm so fucking dumb that I thought this was on the GameCube. Have I been saying Game Boy so far? GameCube. But yeah, don't know what that game was. This is a game that I have been wanting to try out. I think it's on the Wii U, in the whatever it's called there. But yeah, this was really hype. And like, I love how it played with the ex expectations because before this, it was heavily rumored that it would be Game Boy games. And then maybe uh, Nintendo 64. So basically, going into this, I was just waiting to be uh, Game Boy. And I, I would have been really surprised, as I was, that if there was Nintendo 64 added to. So that they basically, this one was the main announcement, not Game Boy. I think that was a good play with expectations and it just shows the rumors are rumors. And then Sega Genesis. I don't know how to feel about this. Because I don't really like Sonic. This one looks interesting. Streets of Rage is something, the newest game that I've been wanting to try out. Maybe I'll try the older one. Yeah. I think the only problem here what they showed was that I feel like there wasn't enough games. Am I being too greedy? At least compared to the other consoles, but like they said, they are planning to release more games. And what was great, these games had online, if I heard right. So definitely going to try Mario Kart Online. And then the games that I'm planning to play uh, play or at least try 
definitely Ocarina of Time. I have it on my 3DS. But honestly for me it looks... It doesn't look that great. And T is a bit clunky for me. So I'm I'm glad that I can try it out on, uh, on the big screen. I could have tried it on the Wii U already, but I was hoping it would come to the Switch Online. Includes the Rumble back. <laughs> Wait, the Rumble back. That looks like it goes to the Game Boy, not the 64. Don't know what that is. I guess it comes goes under the controller or something. And Sin and Punishment is a game. Like I said, uh, watching the direct, I have heard so many good things about it. It often comes up, I think, when people are talking about Star Fox and uh, how the newest game went wrong. And then they are talking about Sin and Punishment that did it right. So I'm eager to try how that plays out. I think the game that they are um, usually talking about is the second one. I might be completely wrong here. I might even uh, be talking about a different game. I put it on the screen if I'm just rambling about nonsense. <laughs> but yeah, I believe so. But these games, Contra, if I'm right, is a uh, 2D shooter. I believe I might be wrong, but I uh, I know about the series because of the newest release that flopped big time. They announced that uh, they announced it at E3, and then I just followed it because there were some people that were slightly hyped for it. So I followed it how how it do, and it got horrible reviews. So, somewhere there, I also checked out what the original games looked like. And I remember that, uh, that's how I remember. That I think they were 2D platformers. I think what I can do, if I have the time, I can put out gameplay of those games as I speak about them. At least for this one. To show how wrong I was. <laughs> it was the uh, top down shooter. <laughs> and Fantasy Star. I'm not good with real my numbers, but Fantasy Star 4. I believe that's the. Or the Fantasy Star Online. Probably is an extension of that series. Or spin off, or whatever you would say. So, actually, that might be interesting to check out. No idea what this is. No idea what this is. But samurai games are always interesting. Streets of Rage, like I said, I think I'm going to try that one out. And then the rest of these. I don't really know what they are. Castle Castlevania. I guess I could try that one out because there was the uh, Castlevania collection or whatever that was announced. It was leaked before or rumored, and there were people excited for that. So I feel like that's something I should try out and see what it's like. And then there was this montage of games they would be adding on a later date. So, Myra's Mask, Hype, Mario Golf, don't really care, Pokemon Snap. I think that's interesting to check out, but I think also the newest game <laughs> is probably the way to go. F-Zero. I want to learn more about that game. Uh, since there is such an outcry for a new game and 
so many people who like that series and hope hope for it to come back. So I'm I'm interested to check out the older games. What are they like and why are they so loved? No idea what that is. This is hype. Only Paper Mario that I have played is the newest one on Switch. I'm probably three hours into it. Actually played it this week if I'm right. So yeah, interested to see uh, where it started. I think this is the original one. And what is and compare it to what's it now? And then Banjo. I think that's uh, that might actually be unexpected to see a Banjo game on Switch. Then there were these games. Uh, was it Trilogy Collection or whatever? I have heard about these. I might be wrong, but maybe the third game came out a couple of years ago, maybe. Might be wrong. And that's how I heard about this, but don't think I'm going to try those ones out. Then there was the Castlevania collection. Act Racer, if I'm correct. I have heard about this, but don't know if this is a good game or not. It even said Delta Rune here. And after I saw this, I was like, oh, it's the. I put the game title on the screen. Probably even couldn't say the name or even remember. <laughs> but it has a similar thing. So, like, it just shows <laughs> how quickly I forgot about things. But yeah, I think that was already out on other systems. This one I have, I have heard good things about. Might be even something that I check out. Not on Switch though. At least the trailer look quite horrible. <laughs> or uh, quite blurry. Then we had Shin Megami Tensei was the name. There was some part that I was thinking about it. I could remember the name. But yeah, I'm... I'm quite torn. It looks good, but it also looks like... It looks like a game that even if it would get good reviews and it would be a good game, it would be something that I would lose interest quite quickly. But still I want to try it out. <laughs> And I'm no idea how this is going to run on the system. I feel like this will be horrible. <laughs> and then there was Rune Factory 5. Don't know much about that game. And then this Mario movie bit. I don't know, was this needed here? I could have had... I think that, that took like 5 minutes out of the direct. I could have had a 45, uh, 45, not 45, 35 minute direct and still be happy. <laughs> and this to be released in uh, its own video. At this, I don't really understand how Chris Pratt is going to be a good Mario. Like, I don't feel like the voice fits the character, but prove me wrong. At least it's a great actor to play that. I think the other castings were really good. But why you couldn't be the original voice of Mario? Why you couldn't be the voice in the game? The game, uh, the movie. I think I would be happy with that. Then we had Splatoon 2, uh, 3, and we had some. Let's do this and watch throughout the single player thing. Because we had some bits for that. 
it looked like it had like a what are these called? Like bigger levels. Not an open world but bigger levels. And I have to say it looks really interesting. And definitely might be something that I check out. I have played the second one, not really much about the multiplayer, but I have played through, not through the story, but I think halfway through the main game story, or the single player missions, and haven't touched the, was it Octoling? expansion or whatever that was. It's something still that I want to try out. I haven't just had the time. I'm just waiting for it to go and say. But yeah. This looks really cool. And what else? How great is this title screen here? And also, I said it multiple times. Why this thing looks like it has no clothes on? <laughs> That's bothering me. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't have. Show me the title screen. This looks really cool, if you ask me. <laughs> and finally we have Bayonetta 3. I haven't played the first two games. I think I'm waiting on just finding the physical game on a cheap price, but the problem is usually the cheaper price is the used games, and they have already used the code for the is it the second or the first game? It's basically one of those games in, is on the cartridge, and one of them you have to download with the code. But Am I a fool for thinking that this thing is in Astral Chain? Am I completely wrong? I have almost played that game through. I feel like I have like two hours left. That's something that I've been playing. Uh, like a bedtime story <laughs> over uh, the last month. Before I go sleep. That's how I like to play my Switch games. Like I play for an hour before I go sleep. Just to release all the stress and everything and just to relax. But yeah. This thing. I'm like 110% sure that it's in the game, but maybe that's just uh, some platinum mascot. That is in all the in the that is in the all of the games. But yeah, I think the main thing that I noticed from here was that the whole trailer took place in the same area. And I have to say, she's really rocking that long hair look. And this looks so good for a Switch game. But I have to say, they already made... 
made some miracles with Astral Chain, how good that game looks. So I shouldn't be surprised. I think that was the only bit that was from the different area, maybe before you come in here. But everything else seemed to happen on this same town square. Uh, square. And this was a cool shot, even though it's so blurry I can't see anything on the <laughs> stream or on the video, still. Definitely deserves the like. Usually after you watch them, you feel like, oh, that was a decent trick, not anything too good, but it was decent. But when you look, at, look back, you had, I think, the new Kirby game, Bayonetta. Informs Platoon 3, the Switch Online, and you realize after that, you uh, thinking about you realize that that was actually pretty fire trade direct. So, yeah, personally, I thought that was really really good. Let's see when I go online and see what others think. I think overall, uh, people thought it was decent. I think. Let's see what they see here. The Mario movie has two possibilities: the cast, the cast tries to sound like the characters, or they just sound themselves talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's uh, that, uh, that's pretty accurate for how I feel. <laughs> so yeah, the tree looks phenomenal. Phenomenal, I agree. Whoa! Somebody went through that. That trouble. That deserves a life. Yeah. I agree so much here. I don't know, that feels so weird. Like after that announcement, I really needed the trailer to go with it to see how horrible that is. <laughs> but yeah, I go through more of those and other reactions on my own time, so yeah, to wrap this one up, I think, what did I say? Something Pokemon, the things that I said that would be certain here, something about Pokemon, nope, something about, well, there was the online bit where there was the Pokemon Snap, so I'm, I'm completely wrong, but I think I said uh, the remaster games in Arceus, then Advance Wars, no, how, how is that not in here? That's a bit beyond me. Like, I feel like that was the game that needed the most advertisement, at least for myself, out of uh, Mario Party. Uh, and Metroid. Also, no Big Brain Academy. I think that would, be, uh, would have been something that was in the montage Splatoon I was right on. Mario Party also, Online 64 and Game Boy. Half right, but that, that was just based on the rumors. Am I more happy how it ended up? Would I have, the, uh, would I have taken the Nintendo 64 and Game Boy rather than 64 and Genesis, I think I would have taken the Game Boy if they had the better games. I haven't had Game Boy, but uh, before this I was looking through the videos that went through the games that were there and what they expected to be on the online service. So there was quite a few games too. 
mostly Pokemon, I think. And mostly, or more likely, those wouldn't have made it <laughs> to the online service, so maybe it's better like this. Uh, Final Smash character. I did say it's more likely it's going to be something in Game Awards. But Nintendo being Nintendo, they just announced it. Uh, announced the announcement for the character being its own direct in two weeks, I think. And then things that I wish to be here Fire Emblem, nope. Xenoblade, nope. Pro uh, Project Triangle Strategy, yes, but they really didn't show anything meaningful other than the changes that they made. But I don't feel like those were like really big changes. That I would go on. Wow, that's big. Uh, then there was Donkey Kong. Nope. But I think the other one was Kirby, and I don't like either of those two. Not both. Especially if uh, both of them would have been uh, 3D games. So yeah, Kirby was uh, on fire, or Kirby was a fire announcement. And then Zelda Anniversary Collection. No, nope. but we get Ocarina of Time and Myra's Mask in the online. So basically, that covers everything that I wanted <laughs> from that collection because I have a Wii U and I have a. Now I have to think what's the game's name? Wind Waker. I have it there and I can get the. Twilight Prince or whatever that game is called, I can get it there. Unlike most people. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with that one. Basically, all I need anymore is the Oracle of, Oracle of Seasons and the other Oracle game, and then uh, the other DS games. Phantom, Hourglass, and I think there was something more. And then I'm happy. And then Mario Kart 9, like I said, most likely they are saving it for the next Switch. And what would make my head explode? New 3D Mario game. Well, we got the movie. <laughs> At least the casting did make my <laughs> head explode. I'm still no sad. I really wish they make a other game in that, or they make a sequel in that series. Is it serious if there's only one game? Don't know. And something Dragon Quest. No, that makes me sad. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was a really good direct. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. And if you did, I have a reaction to the PlayStation event that was two weeks ago. I have a reaction for that, and then there's gameplay on Lost in Random that is also on Nintendo Switch. Psychon House, Captain Dog video, and something else random. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.